Hello friends, welcome to communication skills for everyone. In this channel, you are going to learn English language skills, technical development, vocabulary, and all around development. We wear the mask. So, we wear the mask is a poem by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. So, he is one of the first African American poets to be naturally identified. The poem was first published in Dunbar's collection Majors and Minors in 1895 but appeared again in his first professionally published work Lyrics of Lowly Life in 1896 so the first stanza of the poem mentions here we wear a mask that grinds and lies hiding our faces that is the debt to we pay to humanity we smile even though our hearts are torn and bleeding right the second stanza here we can see that ask why the world should be aware of what is happening behind our mask why should the world be able to count our tears and sighs and measures our sadness no the speaker here decides we should keep the mask on let's move to the third stanza it talks about we smile while we cry out to christ from tortured souls we sing even though we walk on while clear for miles it is a long road but we wear the mask so the world won't know our true emotions or feelings so each of these three stanzas is broken into different number of lines the first stanza has five lines the second has four and the last has six lines this structure most closely resembles a rondo poem so characterized by its uh, 13 lines with five three five lines respectively in each stanza so the repeated rhyme scheme pattern like a a b b a a a b c a a b a c this is like uh, you know this uh, refrain of we wear the mask which is at the end of the last two stanzas each line has four sets of two b's except for the refrain meaning that most of the poem follows an iambic tetrameter pattern here we can say that in the poem we likely refers to african americans they put on mask of lies in order to separate themselves from the world so they are acting out their human guile or general dishonesty in find that they were okay it is a white lie that all of human participates in it. they hide their hearts along with their faces causing inner turmoil they smile but behind their smiles they are hiding a variety of different emotions feelings and histories in the next stanza when we move to the next stanza so here the speaker ask why the world should be privy to the pain of african americans as they battle against the tile and legal constructs segregation they should have to show the pain on their faces as the civil rights issues are obvious for anyone to see still the world selects to disregard the plight of african americans speaker says that people only see the surface the inside what is there so here the final stanza the african americans are crying out with tortured souls from behind their mask the clay on which they stand and the social structure to which they have been forced is while at they must cross it in order to find some kind of a recompense the poem ends by reminding us that black americans must travel a long road to equality right scholars right so here we can see that dunbar's other poems as a reason for having written we wear the mask why they say that mean for reveal why he so often chose to write of the black man as a happy go lucky creature of the plantation right so this uh, likewise right so he, in most of the cases the poet uh, so here dunbar right we know that he is uh, 
right through the late uh, 19th century but he was born right uh, born to former slaves he often wrote in what was that uh, then known as negro dialect which garnered him both criticism and praise so critics here believed dunbar was reinforcing harmful stereotypes while others say his dialect centered poetry as a celebration of black culture besides being one of the first african american poets to become well known he also wrote the lyrics of the first all african american musical in the homey his work is considered a part of the harlem renaissance and his poetry and music continue to influence other artists